Hi guys and welcome to another week of what's for dinner. This week's what's for dinner is going to be a little different. On only one occasion I actually got to cook so I kind of got a little bit of a break. So if you're new, welcome. My name is Crystal. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I do have more of these what's for dinners. If you guys want to check out the playlist, more of me actually cooking. Uh, this week we just had a lot of things going on so stay tuned. Good things are coming. Got a little spoiled and was able to have good food with uh, family. So I hope you guys enjoy this week what's for dinner it's a little bit different of course any video or recipes that I do mention will be in the description so let's get started with this week's what's for dinner so starting off the week with my mother-in-law making her enchiladas verdes which is green enchiladas that are so good her sauce is made from scratch she does cook this chicken breast and then she shreds it we use corn tortillas and then we lightly um, pan fry them just to soften them nothing to deep fry them in a little bit of of oil and then um, this is her enchilada sauce that she makes from scratch which I really really recommend I do have a video and the recipe I'll link it down below I did show how to make um, her enchilada verdes in another video and also how to make her famous Mexican red rice this is so so good my girls really like the enchiladas verdes and if you never made it from scratch I really recommend it it tastes so much better and then this is the Mexican red rice this is what my mother-in-law is really known for her her rice it's so good and it's incredibly easy to make um, we top it off with some shredded lettuce some queso cotija which is a dry cheese similar to parmesan cheese the taste is different there's my girls and then some sour cream Highs. you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down And this is my plate and this is what we had for dinner um, I have I've been really blessed with great in-laws um, here they're saying hi unfortunately the audio wasn't that great so I had to mute the audio but they're saying hi to everyone uh, thanks for watching how are you guys always showing you guys that love and this was dinner on this day as always delicious and always made with lots of love so I will be putting that video down in the description if you guys want to go check that out So on Monday we did a live cook with me with my husband and I we both cooked together we made uh, homemade french fries those were the peeled um, and cut potatoes and we did deep fry them if I can I'll link down a video and showing you how we bake them if that is something you're interested I had some brioche buns I had about a pound of ground beef and I didn't film um, the live but I will put the live down below we just had so much fun this was the following day uh, we had leftovers um, and we just warmed them up um, and they were so so good some of them had cheese some of them didn't I ended up making a lot of food because I thought uh, some family was gonna come over but at the last minute they didn't show up so then we just um, had them for uh, lunch for about two days we had some leftovers we made some hotlings they look a little bit different because they weren't warmed up um, but I promise you they were good and then we had some jalapeno cheddar hot dogs so also I made some grilled onions on that live so I was making the cheeseburger sliders and my husband was helping me uh, make the french fries we added some um, jalapenos in the burger we added tomato lettuce some of our favorite toppings this is the little cheeseburger slider with the homemade french fries which were so good um, definitely if you guys want to um, watch the next live if you missed it definitely um, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this if you want to get notified each and every time that I upload a video or that we do go live um, we do enjoy going live and cooking um, on Monday but stay tuned we're gonna do a couple of more lives um, coming up make sure to press the bell and press all and that will notify you each and every time that we go live this was one of the jalapeno cheddar um, hot dogs. It does look a little bit different, the color, but it was the next day. And it was very delicious with the grilled onions. Amazing. And some of the homemade uh, french fries. And then right now I'll show you the hot link that um, I warmed up for my husband um, with a little bit of mustard. And those are some of the, the hot links that I purchased at Costco that I got on sale. 
um, so, so good. Um, that's for, um, my husband's right there. And that is what we had for dinner on this day. So on this day we visited family and they had tortilla chips, guacamole, salsa, carne asada, uh, tacos al pastor which is my girls and our favorite. I will link down salsa playlist and how to make carne asada if you guys are interested in a video like that. Um, it was so good. We had a good time just with family. Uh, these are the corn tortillas and this was my plate right here. It was the uh, al pastor with the guacamole, salsa, and lemon. One of my favorite things to eat are tacos. That was dinner on this day. So what's for dinner, guys? So today we got a little spoil with my mother-in-law. She made uh, some Me Mexican red rice that I do have a video on. I'll link it down below. She also sent some uh, ensalada de pollo, which is really nice. Chicken salad. So good. So this has chicken breast, um, a frozen veggies, the mixed kind. She boils those first, boils the chicken and some salt and garlic and water. And I think she adds a few bay leaves. And then she adds meal and romaine lettuce. Really, really good. And a little bit of mustard, salt, and pepper. And then we have it with some tostada. So I like to call this like a Mexican chicken salad. Right? And the the chicken broth uses to make the yes, rice. Yes, to make the rice. And she's made this, I've showed this so many times on my What's for Dinner. Um, it's so, so good. So and good. It's, it's simple, one of my favorite right? dish. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like plated up, but an easy, easy dinner for us today. So here I have the tostada. I add the layer of the chicken salad on top. And then I like to add a little bit of rice on top. Everyone serves it differently. This is just the way. I like to serve it and it's so so good it has so much flavor um, and then I like to add some jalapeños and then some hot sauce which you guys will see right now me gusta el chile tapa tío pa tu tío pa mi tío luego I'm gonna add some on top too besides the jalapeños Y luego le echo arroz y luego trae esta patillo. He does it differently. He adds the rice on top. It doesn't matter. Some people will have it on the side. At the end of the day, you're going to eat it. Ooh, a big mountain. And that's it. Rico. And then... More tapatio. A little bit of more tapatio. Yummy. Yummy. And it's ready for stomach pain. Oh no, for what? Well, now you're going to add some jalapeno. And now you put a little bit of jalapeno in there. We have some of these leftover from the nachos, so we're just using those. We like the costeña brand, but we usually get the sliced ones. Um, if you guys like jalapeños, I really recommend la costeña brand. It's one of our favorites. <laughs> Dale. Rico. So, put on like if it was a pepperoni. <laughs> Pizza. Oh. Yummy, beautiful. Looks good. Mm -hmm. And that's what's for dinner for today. Yep, really great. So, this was dinner on this day. This what's for dinner was a little bit different, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. You look so beautiful, and I'm so lucky to be yours.